Hello everyone, it's Roman from Natalie and in today's short tutorial I will explain how to set up Facebook Analytics for your Natalie app. In our documentation you can find pretty nice and understandable steps on how to do that, but in this tutorial I will demonstrate it on the real app case. So the first of all we of course need to have the Facebook account and the second step will be to go to developers.facebook.com click my apps then you need to create a new facebook app select non-type go next i uh, here provide the app name also you can add the contact email and check other option if you need and click create app it will ask you to enter your password after your app was successfully created you need to navigate to the settings, basic, then scroll a bit down and click add platform. Select iOS and Android if you're using both platforms. For Android store you need to select uh, Google Play here. For now natively officially support only Google Play, but if you want to try you can set anything here you want. Okay, at that point Facebook have added two platform, one iOS and Android. We will start from iOS because it's a bit easier. So it asks us to enter the bundle ID and also apps iPhone store ID and iPad store ID. The bundle ID can be found on the native platform. If you will navigate to publish section, iOS build and here you can find bundle identifier. You can copy this switch back to the Facebook settings and paste. At that section you need to enter iPhone Store ID or iPad Store ID. So if you have your app in the multiple store, like you're delivering for iPhone and iPad, uh, this value will be the same. But if you are only using iPad Store uh, ID, you just need to paste it here. In our case we have the iPhone app only. So I will just paste this App Store app ID to this field. Okay, that's pretty it. Uh, also, you need to confirm the ownership. You can learn more about this verification, but we will not cover that part in today's tutorial. So then scrolling down, we have Android. Here's a bit different thing. It asks us for key hashes and package name and also class name. So let's start from the package name because it's much simpler. We are going back to natively, Android build, and here you can find your uh, bundle identifier. You need to copy this and paste it in package name. So in the class name field you need to copy and paste uh, exactly the same uh, string here. And the last step was key hashes. So, in order to get the key hash, you need to go to the Google Play console account. Then select your app. You need to scroll a bit down. And find the setup section. Then go to app integrity. So, in the app integrity, you will see the certificates you need to find scroll down to the upload k certificate and copy SGHA1 certificate fingerprint so we click copy here and then going to the public online converter so you need to enter here your hex key and then click hex to base 64 you will get the base 64 string let's copy that and paste here in k hashes after doing this all changes, we need to uh, click Save Changes button. So the next step is we need to switch to the Advanced tab and then scroll to the Security section and copy Client Token here. Then go back to the Natively, Features, Analytics and turn on Facebook and paste Client Token here. Also, it asks us for App ID. Let's also switch back and grab this value. You can find it on the top 
in the navigation bar. Click to copy and then switch back and paste it here. Also, the important part here is that if you want analytics to work on iOS, you need to enable it and enter the permission description. So the permission description can be pretty anything, but it should like describe to your user why you are requesting the analytic permission. So for Android, you don't need that. They have a bit different specification, but for iOS, I have added a link to the Apple page describing here what you need to do when you're tracking the user's data. Here is the asking permission to track. So it's something like this will be displayed to your users. And for example, you don't need to do it like this. You just need to write your own text here, but I will just paste it here to fix. And that's pretty it. After we have saved all analytics data, we need to go to the publish and uh, rebuild iOS and also rebuild the Android app. After that, you can open that apps in the test flight or just download APK file and run it from your device. And at that point, to make sure that everything set up correctly, you need to go to the Facebook events manager. And in the event manager, you will need to switch to the, your application and you will see something like this on that screen. You will see a test event. There will be something like activation app, app installs, and it will say like one. So it means your event is coming to the Facebook and everything works correct. But one important thing here, after you have installed your application, Facebook saying it's like up to 20 minutes past to get this event in analytics. So just wait a bit and if uh, you have any question, ask us in the support chat on the native lab. We will answer you and help you figure out if everything was set up correctly. So thank you for watching this short tutorial. Have a nice slow coding. Thank you.